North Korea latest, U.S. to send Rex Tillerson to China for crisis talks amid WW3 fears. Mr. Tillerson will travel to Beijing on Thursday, September 28, for a three-day visit expected to be dominated by the nuclear threats issued against the U.S. by China's allies. The trip will also lay the groundwork for Mr. Trump's visit to China in November, State Department spokeswoman Hadenauer told the news briefing. Earlier this week, Mr. Tillerson said Mr. Trump would have all military options on the table when it comes to dealing with North Korea. He said, we will continue our efforts in the diplomatic arena, but all of our military options is on the table. The US has repeatedly urged China, North Korea's only ally, to do more to solve the crisis by using its influence to persuade Pyongyang to scale down its nuclear ambitions. Although China has criticized Kim Jong-un's persistent rocket launches and September's nuclear bomb test, Beijing is wary of regime change should it unleash a wave of North Korean immigrants across its border. On Monday China urged all sides to show restraint and not add oil to the flames after a weekend of additional threats by both Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. China's United Nations Ambassador Liu Jie said the escalating rhetoric between the two nations was getting too dangerous and stressed the only solution to the crisis was negotiations. He said, we want things to calm down. It's getting too dangerous and it's in nobody's interest. We certainly hope that the United States and North Korea will see that there is no other way than negotiations to solve the nuclear issue on the Korean peninsula. The alternative is a disaster. As well as North Korea, trade will also be discussed. Relations between the two nations have been strained following President Trump's repeated criticism of Chinese trade practices and the U.S. deficit with the world's largest exporter. U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross visited Beijing this week, and said China needed to guarantee fair and reciprocal treatment for U.S. Firms he told Chinese Premier Li Keqiang on Monday that the United States hoped for very good deliverables when Mr. Trump visits China, likely in November. In a statement on Tuesday, the U.S. Commerce Department said that Mr. Ross had also pressed China on the need to rebalance bilateral trade and investment relations and urged it to take meaningful action on trade issues. China committed to further market opening and welcome participation by U.S. firms, with both sides supporting talks to resolve trade frictions, it said.